Um, hello everyone. Uh, today we're going to show you how you can um, allow a user to modify only the records that he or she has entered into the database. So in this uh, view you can see that we have two different users and once we add um, the script um, we'll be able to just show um, or um, enable one of them to edit the records that have been added by um, by him or her directly. So how do we do this? Um, we go to the form, we edit the application, and then we select the workflow. There are different places that you can do this. So in this case, we are on the edit section. So when a user comes to modify a record, we can actually put the script on load if you want to show them the message right uh, before they actually get to edit something or you can uh, do it on on validate uh, obviously this second option would get the user through the time to fill out the form make the changes and then when they submit um, until then they will be prompted with the alert that uh, they can only modify the records that they entered but if you do it on load um, they don't waste that time and you know, they uh, as soon as they try to edit that record, they would be prom prompted with with the alert. So um, I'm gonna do it in uh, both sides just for the sake of uh, the example here. So we're gonna use this condition if alert cancel, but uh, in our case, the condition that needs to be met is if added user. It's in the input fields. You know, this input field section shows you all the fields that are available in your database. The ones that you added, uh, the ones that are embedded in the form, and the ones that belong to the Zoho system directly. One of them being who the added user for that particular record is. So if the added user equals, and then you go to the Zoho variables, and you select Zoho login user. As you can see, it returns the name of the currently logged in user. So you wanna map the added user equals the, the login user. And if this is the case, actually, it's the other way around. If it's not the login user, then we have to show an alert. you can only edit records that were added by you. So you get the message and then the next action it's cancel the condition. Now you can also just uh, easily let's gonna let's go and test this. So if I access this application on um, this record the first one was not added by me so if i go and edit and just change something about it here and then try to update i'm gonna get the message that i can only edit the records that i that were added by me so you can see how this works so if i go on this one which i did add and i change it uh, the system is gonna let me update the record in the database so last but not least you can also come back to the workflow and instead of having on validate you can move the rec the script you can do an easy copy and paste and i'm going to remove it from validate click save so there's nothing in there and then just place it on load the only difference here is that the cancel submit uh trigger does not work on load uh workflow it only works on validate um, section so everything else is the same uh, but now the alert is gonna load right in the moment that you try to edit the record it doesn't you know um, allow you to, to to keep moving forward however this is not gonna work completely because you can easily you know just get rid of the form of the alert box and continue with the process. So obviously the best thing to do is just have that backup actually and make sure that um, if they don't uh, follow your command and they 
tried to enter the record, they would still get the cancel submit on validate. So this is it. You know, now if we go back to the database, try to edit the record, I'm going to be prompted right here. Boom. You can only add where the records were that were added by me. I can still go ahead and make the change if I'm stubborn. But when I try to update, I'll still have the cancel submit on validate. So that's it. This is how you can allow um, different users to modify only the, re the records that were entered into the database by them. Um, let us know if you have any questions um, and have a great day. Thank you.